Hi my love bugs, so we're just jumping right into this video. As you guys can tell, this is going to be a hair washing, hair install video. Um, I had to wash my hair anyway, so I figured I'll just show you guys like my whole process. Normally, I don't wash my hair in the shower just because it's kind of like a hassle a little bit and it's a waste of water. So, um, um, as I showed you guys, I am going to be using the Design Essentials Shampoo the the oat and protein one and also the her shampoo i got this shampoo from target um it's a set it's a biotin shampoo actually shampoo and conditioner it's really good smells great and i love it so much so first i'm going in with the design essentials i feel like this one really just cleans my hair um my hair was actually straightened out i was wearing a ponytail and this is just one week old hair um that hasn't been washed i'll insert like a little video of how my hair was but um normally i don't actually put a flat iron to my hair that often but when i do normally the back of my hair um gets the most damage and sometimes the front of my hair gets the most damage so normally when i wash my hair and condition it um, it takes a while for my hair to revert back to its natural curl pattern But when I used some new products in this video, um, it kind of helped it revert back very fast and in the same one wash Which is really good and it never happens So as you guys can see you guys see the little straight straighter pieces in the back. It's not as curly as the rest of my hair um, and I also have 4c hair my hair is very kinky very coily so Yeah my arms was hurting y'all this is why i don't wash it in the shower yes to the jam session so right now i'm going in with these conditioners again this is the her biotin um conditioner along with the chi argan oil conditioner and also a reconstructive um hair mask from chi as well from the argan oil company as well and i love this biotin conditioner you guys it smells so good it makes my hair really soft and it really just does the trick like it just works tremendously and i just love it so much so i go in with that first and then i went in with some pumps of the argan oil conditioner and i ran that through my hair and it's really important to work the conditioner into your hair um because you just want it to get everywhere and especially for my hair it's really soft and this right here is the rejuvenating repairing hair mask and this made my hair extremely soft it made it so moisturized like it was just it just felt really good and i really love these products guys this is not sponsored at all well this portion isn't sponsored um this is just my initial thought thoughts of these products again it was my first time using the argan oil um by chi collection and it was really nice i really loved it and right now i'm just combing the conditioner throughout my hair because you gotta make sure that the conditioner gets everywhere this is what makes your hair you know eventually very moisturized and just very soft and easy to blow dry as well so right now i'm gonna shower and now i i actually let the mask sit in my hair by the time i was done showering and then i just went ahead and rinsed it all out and you want to make sure that you're rinsing your hair with cool temperature water so that um all of that moisture and everything can just get locked in into your hair and you want to wash with warm temperature lukewarm or sometimes hot so you can open up your hair follicles as well so after that, um, I dried my hair off with a towel and I'm going in with the Design Essentials Leave-In Conditioner. So this is like my first time using an actual leave-in conditioner to, you know, moisturize my hair afterwards and for the initial blow dry. You guys, my hair has grown so much. It's crazy. If you guys have been following me or watching me for a while, y'all know I cut my hair off a while ago and my growth is just amazing i'm so happy with the way my hair has been growing it's still a little bit thin but we working on it we working on it so i went ahead braided my hair back 
after blow drying um, oiled it put my ball cap on and now we are going to get into the lace install so after doing that we're gonna go in with the bold hold active glue and I'm just applying this over the lace cap and using a popsicle stick to smear it in and I believe I did about three coats of this glue or maybe I did two hmm. I might have just did two yes I did two coats and then I went in and put my wig on this wig is from Tanashi hair um they're pretty much known or a little bit popular so you might have heard of them before um all of their information will be down in the description box down below so make sure you guys go ahead and check that out um also the link to this exact wig will be down below if they have any special coupon codes down below and all of their other wigs also down below so um right now i'm just cutting off the lace i believe this is their hd lace and y'all the lace was amazing amazing um recently the lace game has changed because of covid and it's so hard to find like good looking hd lace but i feel like everything is like slowly becoming back to normal so the lace right now is popping like i'm just so happy that everything is looking like how it was before covid and you'd be surprised how much things covid actually interfered with like the lace game was definitely one of them especially for me being a hairstylist and just getting this bad batch of hair like from clients it just wasn't it wasn't it so i'm happy to be receiving some good lace um right now i'm just going in and flattening out the top i use no product on the top at all and then i went in with some wax stick and we're flattening out some more and i knew i wanted to do like a very sleek middle part look so that's pretty much what we are doing And I believe this hair is about 24 inches, so it was pretty long, or maybe 24 or 26. I'm not sure, but right now we're going in with the baby hair look, and I wanted to keep it pretty simple, and I've really been loving like the, the baby hairs on the side and nothing really in front of the part. Um, so I've really been loving how that looks, unless it's like curly hair, then I feel like you have to have a baby hair in front of the part, but natural look for straight hair i feel like the sides is um more natural so i'm going in with some free spray and i'm just spraying this behind the hairline of the baby hair just to make sure that everything is pretty secure and i bent down from my blow dryer and we're blow drying this on hot heat and or warm whatever whatever is your cup of tea and then once that is dry I like to go in with my elastic band and just secure the lace and just make it look a little bit more melted. This definitely helps the process of that melted look. So once that is secured on my head, I'm going in and now it's time for styling. I'm just using the wet stick in between those parts and we're just trying to get it as flat as possible because we don't want any humps, any lumps anything like that in this wig okay we want everything to be nice and sleek so after doing that i went in and i pressed out my hair i'm using my babyless um flat iron and i love this flat iron it works so well it's so big so you don't have to use um you don't have to part small parts you can actually do big sections and just go with the flow Okay, so once that is done, I went in and I took the elastic band off and now we're going to touch up on our baby hairs. 
And you guys, just take a minute and just look at this lace. Do y'all see that? Amazing. Okay, amazing. Definitely melted. <laughs> so right now I'm going in with my tweezers, plucking out some um, hair out of the baby hairs because I don't like my baby hairs too thick. And then I'm going in with my mini flat iron and I'm just curling the baby hairs just to give it more of that like curly swoop look that's just the look that I like you don't have to do this um this is just a technique that I like to do now so I also went in with some got to be no gorilla snot yes I've also been using gorilla snot instead of got to be or mousse just because I feel like it it's it does the same thing but the gorilla snot adds like a little bit of an extra hold to it so your baby hairs isn't moving around or isn't as secure as um you know as you'd like it to be some people like the soft look for me i don't really have a preference i feel like the gorilla snot doesn't make it too hard looking like the got to be does so this is why i like to use that and i went in with concealer and just defined my part and then went back in and pressed my hair out and y'all, this looking like a fresh relaxer, okay? You can't tell me nothing. It's so flat, nice and flat. Um, and this actually took me, let's say, about 15, 20 minutes to actually install, right? Isn't that crazy? I'm like a pro at this, obviously, because I do it all day. But <laughs> it's just, it's really, I don't know, it's kind of therapeutic, too. I love doing my hair and... I love the finishing look, of course. It just ties everything together. Like, do you guys see that? It just looks amazing. Fresh relaxer coming through. It's going out the scalp, honey. You can't tell me anything. <laughs> yes. So, this is later on in the day, that same day. And while I was out, I was just like, I think I want to do bangs. Yes, why not? Let's do some bangs. So that night I did my makeup and I'm just like, come on, we gonna cut it, we gonna cut it. So I went ahead and part out my bangs and what I did was I did like a little curved shape. And before I went ahead and cut it, I just tried to kind of shovel the hair up a little bit just to see if that's the type of look I was going for. Cause I was really, really, really scared because I don't do bangs at all. But they're really cute on some people and I feel like I've done them once and they came out pretty okay. So I went back in with the um, hot comb and I just, I've, I've just been like perfecting it, playing with it, seeing where I need to cut. And yeah, I really love the thin bangs instead of the thick looking bangs. I just feel like it's a little bit more... Not natural, but it's just not heavy. And it just looks so much better to me for some reason. Um, so I went back in with my scissors and I was actually cutting upwards to give it that fringy look. And I apologize for moving the camera, y'all. It was by accident. So I'm a little bit out of focus, but y'all can catch the drift. I did everything I needed to do on camera. So right now I'm just adding a little bit more hair because it just wasn't thick enough for me. I feel like it was a little bit too spacey. And because I applied the wax stick right in the middle part, the middle of the bangs was just kind of sticking together a little bit. So I was just trying to maneuver it and just like play around to see what worked the best. And again, for your bangs, you want to cut up and not straight across. Because if you do cut straight across, it'll look very harsh. And for me, that's just not the type of look that I like to go for. And I also went in with some tweezers. And I went in and kind of plucked some of the hair out of the areas where I felt like was just a little bit more dense. And I just plucked until I got the desired look, look of my liking. Is that a thing? Look of my liking? No, desired look. <laughs> so at this point, y'all, I'm still combing the bang out and I'm still just like playing with it just to see if it's something that I like and honestly it took me a minute to get used to it I kept asking my sister like is this cute should I take it out should I just put a hat on like what should I do what should I do <laughs> 
So um, at this point, I was just like, let me play with it. So I thought about putting it up and just having my hair down. I felt like it looked really cute now that I look at it on camera. But just in a moment, I was just a little bit skeptical about it because it's definitely out of my comfort zone. Um, bangs already is like a risk. You're already taking a risk with doing bangs. So, and you're trying to do a half up, half down? Girl, I don't know why I was feeling so brave that day, but <laughs> I was. And honestly, it probably would have looked cute, but you know, I was just a little scared. Is it just me or am I the only one who got to make like my picture faces, like my my Instagram story filter faces to see if a hairstyle is cute. <laughs> I do that. If you do that, leave a comment down below, girl, because we the same. Look, y'all see it? Y'all see the deuces? <laughs> so after that, I went ahead and I just finessed by just putting a um, headband on. I just, I was like, all right, whatever. I'm over it. It's cute. This is cute. We'll, we'll work with this. So that is pretty much the look of this hair. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. Leave a thumbs up. Leave some comments down in the description box below. Also, subscribe to your girl's channel. And turn your notification bells on so that you can get an alert for future videos. Because I have that vlog coming up. I also have makeup videos coming up. And so much more. So, please stay tuned. Um, so, with that being said, today's motivational quote is... If you prayed for it, then be ready to receive more than what you prayed for. God did not call you to blend in. He called you to stand out. So go to God first and not last. And with that being said, I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.